Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss cascading dropdown in Power Apps. First of all, let us know what is about cascading dropdown in Power Apps. Power Apps cascading dropdown is mostly useful when you have data that related to hierarchically. And we can also create cascading dropdown using manually from SharePoint Online list, collection, etc. Now I will show you practically how to create cascading dropdown in Power Apps. Here you can see this is my Power Apps edit page where I will show you how to create a Power Apps cascading dropdown. First of all, I will show you how to create a cascading dropdown using collection. For that, go to the app object. Here select the on start property to create a collection. Here you can see this is my collection name like collection books. Book name author are my collection fields to store some records. And once you created a collection, just click on the run on start property to get the created collection. Now I would like to add two drop down controls for book name and author. And whenever the user select any book name in the first drop down, the second drop down will filter and display the respective author name based on the first drop down selected value. For that, select the default screen and rename the screen like next add the drop down control for that expand the insert tab here search drop down then select drop down control now rename the drop down control like then set its items property like here you can see this is my collection name now change the value of drop down control like book name now go to the preview section here expand the drop down control to get the respective book names similarly insert a another drop down control Here you can see I am using filter function to get the respective records from the first drop down. This is my collection name, this is my collection field and this is my drop down control name. Now preview the app. Once you select the specific book name from the first drop down, the second drop down will display the respective author name based on the first drop down of selected value. Next I will show you how to create a cascading drop down using my SharePoint online list. Here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like travel requests. Inside this I have added some data based on the different columns. Now I would like to bind this specific columns on a power apps drop down control using cascading. For that go to the power apps. Here insert a another blank screen. And you should remember whenever you want to work with SharePoint online list, go to the data section and connect the respective SharePoint online list to the power apps. Just add a data. Here select SharePoint. Then choose your SharePoint online site. Then choose your SharePoint online list like travel request. Next click on the connect button. Now select the second screen. Rename the screen like. Now insert a drop down control. Rename the drop down control like. Drop down trip title. Next set its items property like here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like travel request and this is my SharePoint list title column. Next insert a another drop down. Then set its items property like here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like travel request. And this is my first drop down control name like drop down trip title. Here you can see set the value like destination name. Next insert then set its items property like. 
Here you can see whenever I using the filter condition on the SharePoint list choice field, it does not receive the value like as shown below. To fix this issue, I used the lookup function instead of the filter function using the code like. Here you can see this is my SharePoint online list. This is my first drop down control name and I am using lookup function to get the SharePoint choice field. Now go to the preview section. Whenever user select any trip value from the first drop down, the second and third drop down will display the respective SharePoint online list records based on the first drop down selected value. In the same way, I will explain how to work with Power Apps cascading drop down lookup. For that, insert a another blank screen. And before you creating a cascading drop down lookup, first you need to set two SharePoint online list like source list and destination list. Here you can see this is my source list like employee country and this is my destination list like employee state. This is my SharePoint online list lookup column from source list. Now I will connect these two lists on Power Apps and creating a Power Apps cascading drop down lookup. For that go to the power apps and as I told if you want to connect the SharePoint online list to the power apps just go to the data section. Here select add data then choose SharePoint. Here choose SharePoint online site. Then choose SharePoint online lists like employee country and employee state then click on the connect button now go to the third screen rename the screen like next insert a drop down Similarly, rename the drop down as well. Now set its items property like here you can see this is my source list name like employee country and this is my text column. Now insert a another drop down. Then set its items property like here you can see this is my second SharePoint online list like destination list and this is my drop down control name. Now change the value name as title. Now go to the preview section. Here whenever the user select the country from the first drop down, the second drop down filters and display the selected country states records like this. Yes friends this is all about how to use cascading drop down in power apps. I hope guys you like this video to give a like and do subscribe our youtube channel for more free videos on SharePoint online power apps, power automate and power bi. Thank you.